Turkey conducted a fire test of the indigenously produced long-range Cyper missile defense system. During the test, the Cyper hit the target at an altitude of 26,000 feet. During the test, the Aselsan developed ERS-based search radar, fire control center, and missile launch system were tested for the first time. The conducted test was in integrated mode because the communication systems of the Turkish defense were actively used. Until now, there was no detailed information about the structure of Cyper. Aselsan avoided sharing it, but after the last test, it became clear that Cyper consists of a fire control center, fire control radar, search radar, missile launch system slash missile transport system, full launch missiles, communication station, communication transmission tool, maintenance, and repair tool, training simulator components. Turkey's long-range Cyper air and missile defense system provides long-range air defense of strategic facilities against enemy attacks and has a distributed architecture. The system has close and long-range deployment capabilities, multiple engagements, and sustained fire, severe weather operation, ground or air. The new missile system enables higher command control integration with multiple tactical data links, a link to the radar network management system, RADNET, and the Air Force Information System, HVBS. The main features of Cyper are management and dissemination of information within command control, multiple firing and sequential firing, threat assessment and weapon distribution, several firing modes, manual, semi-automatic and automatic, automatic diagnostics control, multi-purpose multi-radar fusion, two-way communication with missiles, interface with HVBS, RADNET connection, embedded simulation, and more. Following the contract signed between SSB and Aselsan for the needs of the Air Force Command, a long-range search radar, HUMAR, and a multifunctional fire control radar, KFAKR, with a highly mobile system structure is being developed. Both UMAR and KFAKR are new generation radars with AESA antenna architecture and digital beamforming infrastructure. The radars can use meteorological data to increase detection and tracking performance, and their AESA architecture and modular design support the concepts of low maintenance cost and high availability. UMAR is derived from the TIRS radar. KFAKR, on the other hand, is designed within the Cyper system. The Kfakr antenna can be used in sector mode with 360-degree side coverage by rotating or with a standing antenna. As a fire control radar, it can track multiple targets sensitively enough to guide the system's missiles on target in long-range combat. At the same time, thanks to its multifunctional structure, it can also perform the function of regional-slash-sector search in case of need. In addition to the AESA radar, it also includes subsystems that provide mode 5 IFF and missile data line communication. Kfakr built on a 6x6 tactical vehicle can easily move on the terrain equals. With its compact design, the Kfakr can be easily transported over long distances by being loaded onto many carrier platforms in general. 